In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to pack for the London Marathon. What is up guys and welcome to our annual video now that appears on the channel where we talk about all the stuff you need to pack and prepare for the London Marathon. Now this video also I think is useful for anybody who's doing any other marathon because the bits we're going to talk about in this video are stuff that you're going to need to take for yeah even a half marathon and a marathon, a big large scale event. Now I thought we'd do this a little bit differently this year um, because I've actually done a series of these videos right and not much has changed from last year's video. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, information in a second, which I think is going to be useful for you. And I'll come on to that in just a second. And then we're going to cut to some of the video from last year because some of that stuff in there is still valid. So we're sort of going to mix it up and mash it up. And hopefully it gives you some value in terms of giving you the advice and tips and hints and ideas on what to take on race day. OK, so look. Uh, this year, what we've actually done is a little bit different. We've put out an, uh, an email and this, it's on the website. If you go over to 40runs.com and you go over to the store page, scroll right down to the bottom, there's actually a free race day checklist. Now, what we've done is we put that together based on the videos that we've had over the last few years. And you can download that. It's absolutely free. I'll put a link in the description. But it's all the bits of kit that I think you need to put in your bag, but also the sort of things that you need to tick off as you sort of get yourself organised for race day. So as an example, you know, it sounds funny, but like making sure you've got your vest, your, or your, your top, your GPS watch, your heart rate monitor, if you use that, your gels, and those kind of bits that, I know what it's like on race morning, you're sort of a bit stressed out, have I got everything, have I not got everything? And it's made even worse if you're having to travel to that race. So that's why we put the list together. So check that list out. Again, go over to 40runs.com forward slash store. I'll put the link up on the screen. Uh, download that free um, uh, thing. It's, you just go straight to the bottom of the store on the page. Just stick in your details and it goes straight over. You can click and download it. But it's got like a checklist that you can actually physically tick off. And I find that kind of stuff really useful. Okay, so we're now going to come to the part of the video where we're going to talk about the stuff to put in your race day bag. Now, I put these uh, this list together over the you know a series of years, and I've sort of I would say perfected it in terms of what's in that bag for when you finish and at the start. Uh, and it's kind of useful. You guys really dig it, and I appreciate the love this video gets. So thank you very much. Uh, but just watch this video now and write down the stuff that's in it that you need to put in that bag. Now again, a couple of these bits or quite a lot of this stuff is on that list that I've said about downloading. So just get that list, download it and then watch this part and add anything else in there from what I'm going to tell you to see if you need it. Because obviously not everybody needs all the bits and bobs that I mentioned. Okay, got it? Right, okay. So now this is the part of what to pack in your race day bag. Okay, so the number one important thing that you need to put in that bag, it is the first thing that you put in that bag is this. Now you might think I'm absolutely mad, and I've said this because I've done a few of these videos, uh, but we need to update because uh, where it's all changed it back to what it was. But the Red Ambulance, as it's called by the uh, medical crews that attend uh, a lot of the marathon events, it is the number one essential thing to put in your race day bag. Once you cross that line at the London Marathon, you're gonna be you know, in a right old state probably. And for whatever reason, and I don't know the absolute scientific reasons behind it, which may shock some of you, this thing will bring you back to life. Now you want the full fat version, you want the full Monty. It's got sugar, caffeine, whatever else is in here. But I don't know what it is about this stuff, but I've seen it actually work. I can hand on heart say this work uh, because uh, the captain a couple of years ago when we was doing London, um, he had a problem, he ran into a problem. And uh, St John's Ambulance is, told him go and get this stuff and this honestly made him feel better so get some of this have it when you finish it really really does seem to make a difference okay people next on the list is an old hoodie i'll grab my one down here just to show you uh put this on on race morning this is a zipped one you don't want one that pulls over your head because you'll pull your race number off you want a zipped up one that you can then give and leave to charity as you cross that line it is England, we don't know what the weather's going to be like, so it is important to stay warm on race day. Now you can also obviously add some tracksuit bottoms, but the hoodie is an essential bit of kit. So you've left that there, um, just as a heads up, when you, you do London, when you go into, say, Greenwich Park, the, the trucks will be down on the left hand side. They will see your, your number and you'll know, they'll sort of guide you, but look for where your number is and the corresponding truck. Right, so hoodie's out of the way, talking about stuff. 
sort of uh, to wear, um, I've got a coat here for afterwards. This again, this is a zipped up one, this is Say Sky. Uh, this video is not sponsored by Say Sky, but you can get um, loads of Say Sky stuff on Start Fitness. You, uh, code, you can use the code Fully Runs. Um, but this is a coat to put on after. If it's windy, if it's chilly, if it's raining, whatever, I've got a coat to put on afterwards just to keep me warm once I've changed my shirt. So talking about clothes for afters, uh, afterwards, I would strongly recommend a um, change of clothes in terms of soft clothing. You're going to probably want to put your finishers t-shirt on, but um, some soft socks, might want to change your pants. Um, and yeah, some just soft feeling clothes on your skin is a really nice feel. Uh, I don't know what the weather's going to be like, who knows what the weather's going to be like, but uh, soft feeling clothes after the marathon is really nice, trust me. It's a really nice feeling. So. Pack a couple of little bits, say uh, socks and some pants and things like that, just to freshen you up after a, uh, after the race. Okay, next up, hat, sunglasses. Um, you may not run in them, but you probably want a hat for afterwards if it's raining. Sunglasses, because you would have cried and your eyes would be all puffy. No, if it's sunny and you've not run in sunglasses, you might want a pair of sunglasses. I also change my sunglasses because my ones that I run in usually tend to get all smeary and mucky and sticky. So I change them over. So a hat. It's good if it's going to be raining, but also some sunglasses. Right, here's a good tip. Power bank uh, with a charger for your phone. You can use that at the start while you're sitting there hanging about in Greenwich Park. And then before you put your bag in or even on the train on the, on the way up to Greenwich Park, use your power bank, keep your phone topped up because when you finish, you want as much battery as you can. Just a heads up, when you do finish, you won't get a phone signal, so pre-arranged to meet. We'll do another video about that, but power bank is a good one. We're going to rattle some of these uh, smaller ones through quickly, so hold tight. Um, Imodium, yeah, put them in your bag. Uh, if you get into trouble uh, on the morning, there's plenty of toilets there, but if you get into trouble, you're feeling uncomfortable, having them in there, you don't necessarily need to use them, but uh, for me, someone who suffers anxiety, just having them in the bag does give me that sort of, well, that... If I'm in a problem, I know I can use them. Um, stuff also, right, here we go. Baby wipes, really, really essential. Try and get the big ones if you can, uh, so you can clean up. Beforehand, you might want to wipe your hands if you use the toilets, um, but then afterwards, more importantly, wipe all that salt away, wipe all that stickiness away from, from all the gels and things like that. So, you know, make sure that you put a pack of baby wipes in there. Now, I'm not talking about the common sense stuff like the gels and all your race day kit. We're gonna do a separate race day kit video, okay? So that's why gels and flip belts and all that sort of stuff's not in here, but baby wipes is an essential one. Um, talking that sort of clean stuff, uh, hand sanitizer, again, toilets, um, you know, they're not clean and stuff. And also when you finish, you might wanna do that. Uh, another sort of thing to think about for uh, the start is some KT tape. This stuff's uh, really, really good. You can put it over your nipples, but I don't know, for whatever reason, you get a blister just walking up Greenwich Park Hill, you can cut some of that and put some of that on. That's also a good thing. Uh, suntan lotion, but get the spray so you're not putting like all um, like greasy stuff on your hands. Get the spray that you can just spray on. It's important to use um, suntan lotion. I'm still peeling on my nose where I got burnt on holiday, and that's not good, so make sure um, you're using suntan lotion. Uh, I think that's it's in sort of healthcare stuff. Right, next up, food and drinks, really important. Um, something savoury when you finish. I like salt and vinegar crisps, but I didn't have any because I've eaten them all, so I've taken the kids' um, savoury crisps. Something sweet, uh, Mentos there, but fruit pastels are really good when you finish. I don't know what it is about fruit pastels. It's just the amount of sugar, but fruit pastels. You, when you finish the marathon, you'll probably feel like one or, actually probably won't feel like anything, but one or the other will feel better, taste better than the other one. And usually what they put in the bag, finishing bags, is absolute tut. So have some either salt and vinegar crisps um, or something like fruit pastels, well have both, but have one option of either. You'll probably end up eating both anyway, but it's good to have an option, but make sure you've got one variation of either on there. And the other thing, and it's completely up to you how you carry it, but it's like a, a, a sugary, fizzy drink. I wouldn't recommend putting a can. I'd also recommend, again, going for like a bottle, like the Coke. Um, but I would, you know, go for a fizzy drink as well. Something a bit fruity other than the Coke. It's another way of hydrating. It's another way of getting sort of sugary stuff into your body. Um, yeah, so I've always found putting a, an extra sugary drink, it could be Lucas Aid Sport, whatever, into the bag does help. 
Now a little tip, uh, poncho or black bag at the start. Black bag you can sit on if it's raining or a poncho you can sit on if it's raining. I've got these on Amazon for like three quid a pack of these. Um, but if it's raining on race day, you've got your hoodie on, then you put that over the top, start the race, tear it off, leave it on the side, um, someone will pick it up. But these are great staying dry at the start. And also, if you don't use it at the start, but if it's going to be showery or rainy when you finish, and it's like heavy rain, you can put that on as well. Right, people, two more things stand by. Ah, these bad boys, sliders, um, don't spend... 80 quid or whatever they are on recovery, oofus and all that, you don't need them. Just go to Primark or Lidl like I do, buy a three pound pair of sliders and wear them afterwards. It will be, apart from the Coke, the, the sort of best thing that you put in that bag. Now the last little thing I'm going to put in this year, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to you, and it's not paid, I bought this myself, is some of this, this Pure Sport, um, it's the CBD. Uh, is it CBD? Yes, yeah, CBD. Um, and it's, a, it's like a muscle... Uh, cream paste sort of thing. Not only does it smell awesome, but it, it, it's a really, for me, it, it really works on my legs and calves. So I'm going to be putting that, some of that on after the race. Right, that's it, people. I say this is not a kit, uh, you know, what I'm wearing on race day video. This is what to pack in that bag. Get it all in that bag, and then when you pass it over to the awesome volunteer at the start, you've got a bit of everything ready for when you finish. Right guys, so there we go. I hope that was useful. I hope that was, you know, what you wanted, giving you that list for race day. Uh, we will probably do another one of these next year. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's useful. All I can say to you is good luck, enjoy yourself, smile, and just, yeah, just enjoy the day. It's going to be awesome. I'll see you there in London. I'll catch you later.